Start by opening the top part way to the vertical position. In order to keep the top from folding itself into the storage compartment, support it at the rear on both sides. You can do this with wooden blocks that are about 300 millimeters long. Remove the ignition key in order to prevent accidental movement of the top. Start the disassembly process by removing the two screws from the hand grip recess. Then unsnap the cover and remove it. A screw at the left and right side helps retain the headliner. After pulling off the two plastic U-channels, unscrew the retaining rail and remove the headliner. Use a plastic wedge to pull the weather strip from its retainer. Now you can remove the four screws that hold the rail in place. By the way, on later versions, you'll be able to access the screws from the inside, so you won't have to remove the weather strip. If you have trouble with these screws, get someone to support the back side of the frame while you use an impact driver to loosen the screw. The support is important. Without it, you'll probably bend the frame. Next, remove the B-pillar weather stripping and loosen its retaining rail. Then peel back the top fabric and remove the exposed screw so that you can fold the top back. Now you can remove the screws for the retaining rail. This will expose the screw for the elastic strap. Moving to the front, unscrew the weather strip retainer and remove it using a wedge. Remember to note the location of the rail so that you can reinstall it later in the same position. Next, unscrew the chrome rail from the soft top frame. Fold the top forward and remove the wood support blocks. Fold the material back to expose the exterior screw for the retaining rail and use a wedge to separate the rail from the frame. Tape the glued surface in order to keep things clean. Now you can fold the top back onto the support blocks. It's a good idea to protect the interior and fenders before you begin stripping the top from the frame. Use a hook to begin peeling the top from the front of the frame. Unhook the tensioning cable and pull it out of its sleeve in the soft top. Next, undo the Velcro retaining strap. After completely covering the rear section of the interior, you can begin applying solvent to soften the adhesive that holds the top to the frame. You'll find that it's easier to peel the material off if you apply the solvent a second time 
and keep the material wet. Be sure you clean off the old glue that remains on the bows. Using a hook, start to peel back the material from the front of the frame. Then fold the top over the windshield and finish peeling it off. Unscrew the strap from the bow. There are two plastic washers that you'll reinstall later on the outside of the strap. Pull the tensioning cable out of its sleeve. Next, remove the staples that hold the top to the strap on the top of the frame. Once this is done, you can begin stripping the material from the top bow. Unscrew the retainer for the lower tensioning cable. Peel off the rear weather strip. After removing the retaining screw, you can start peeling the rear part of the top off the frame. Now you'll be able to remove the tensioning cable from the frame. The removal process will be complete after you disengage the tensioning cable from the holding blocks on the soft top. You'll begin the installation process by applying solvent in order to remove any traces of old adhesive. When you've done this, you can lay out the rear section of the top and thread the tensioning cables into their sleeves. This process will be easier if you make a hook from a piece of welding wire. Insert the ends of the tensioning cables into the bow. And then insert the rubber retaining plugs. It's important to line up the center of the top with the center mark at the rear of the bow. Also, line up the stitching on the top with the frame. Then, engage the tensioning cables into the holders attached to the soft top. In order to get a better finished appearance, dry fit the corners of the top. Mark the excess and trim the material away. As you can see, the surfaces of the top that you'll glue come from the factory already primed. Apply a coat of MB Universal Adhesive to the top and to the frame. To avoid problems, be sure to use only the MB Universal Adhesive. This is a contact type glue so you should wait a few minutes before joining the glued parts together. After smoothing the material down, insert the corner retaining screws. Next, dry fit the top over the rear bow so you can measure and mark it. Measure from the seam to the center of the bow.
Now you can apply the adhesive to the bow and the top material. Clamp the top to the bow, then lock down the rear of the top. Now you can reinstall the retainer for the tensioning cable and the elastic strap. Remember to locate the strap first and install the two plastic washers before inserting the screw. Slip the tensioning cable through the sleeve. And anchor the end into the slot on the frame. After punching a hole through the elastic strap, secure it to the frame. Next, install the three screws for the fabric retaining rail. Apply adhesive to the rail and to the fabric. After allowing a few minutes of setup time, Fold the fabric over, lining up the mark on the fabric to the edge of the rail. You can now insert the lower retaining screw. Trim away the excess fabric. Next, mark the location of the three screws for the fabric retaining rail and cut away the fabric to expose the screw heads. Now you can install the six galvanized staple fasteners to the webbing on the frame. Moving to the rear of the top, apply the adhesive and after it has set up, bond the fabric to the frame. Once again, you'll need to trim away any excess material. Starting at the corner, install the weather strip into its channel. Now you'll have to remove the retaining rail from the old soft top. After cleaning off the old adhesive, position the rail on the new top. Align the center hole in the rail to the center mark on the top. Apply adhesive to the fabric and the rail. After the adhesive has set up, bond the two together by folding the fabric into the rail. Clamps will help secure the two pieces. Then you'll trim the material. Apply a thin bead of MB sealer over the entire length of the bow. Then, lay the soft top over the rear window and attach the bow. After attaching the clamps, you'll have to punch holes through the fabric so that you can insert the retaining screws.
thread the tensioning cables into their sleeves in the soft top. Fold the top forward and attach the ends of the cables to their anchoring clips on the frame. You may have to bend the clips over slightly in order to make sure the cables stay anchored. Next, apply adhesive to the frame and the fabric. Make sure you line up the marked line on the soft top with the edge of the frame. After trimming away the excess material, apply adhesive to the front weather strip rail. And install the screws. Next, insert a screw into the elastic strap and secure it to the frame. Then, apply adhesive and bend the fabric over, making sure the marked edge lines up with the edge of the retaining rail. Mark the retaining rail screw heads and cut the fabric away. Remove any excess material. Next, remove the screws and install the rail for the weather strip. Fold the Velcro fastener around the rail in the frame and secure it. If you over tighten the Velcro strap, you'll make a noticeable depression in the soft top. Attach the top portion of the seal. And then insert the weather strip and the remaining screws for the rail. With the top in the closed position, apply adhesive to the soft top flaps. And bond them to the frame bows. Install the headliner rail. And snap the channels onto the bows. Then you can secure the corners. Insert the weather strip and snap the trim piece into place. Finally, install the two screws into the recess in the assist handle.